Taking a look at the Camry Mini PC JK06 Mini Computer with Intel Celeron N5100. 8 gigabytes of RAM, fanless desktop computer. It comes with Windows 11 Pro. Micro PC with magnetic stand for business and education. Alright, let's open the box up and see what we have. About the size of a small speaker. Warning during the system boot process, if you cannot log into your personal account, please turn off Wi-Fi and LAN. Select and skip options and then go into your personal account in the system. Two USB ports, your LAN port, HDMI, BGA port and your power port. Not quite sure what this one is as of yet, but we will get into that soon. Also has a Type C plug and two other USB ports, as well as a micro SD card slot. See what else is in the box? It comes with an HDMI cord. Both ends. I'm assuming this is probably to hook up a monitor. Power adapter. And your stand. Your magnetic stand. Let's get it hooked up and see what we have. We're going to get it set up on the stand. Under your stand, you will place like so. Well, we have our HDMI cord for our monitor. Let's get that plugged in. And we have our power cord. The power cord is a little short. It's only about three foot long. So... We want to get this fired up and we'll see. You will have to go to this website address, this is Google Drive. Once you do finally get this 6.6 .6 gigabyte download, downloaded, then you will have to install an unzipping program to decompress the file because it comes in a compressed file. It's a, dot r a r you may have one on your computer already but if you don't you will have to go and download that once that is complete then you can open the file and this is the contents nowhere in the instructions did i find that okay here's some important information that they failed to tell you about and this is not in the instruction booklet I wrote this little notepad, and I'm just going to read it off. I found a more current video from Kumaru through a Google search. You can watch it here, and I've left, I'll leave all this in my review. You have to download the operating system by going here, and I'll leave the link in the review, written review. The pop-up will tell you you couldn't preview file. There was a problem with the preview. Click the download to initiate the download. Depending on your internet speed, this could take quite some time since 
it is 6.62 gigabytes and that is a huge file also this is a compressed file it's a .rar file so you will need an app to unzip the file if you don't have one on your computer already once you have downloaded the unzipping app go back to the file that you have downloaded the operating system and double click on it you will be asked if you want to unzip it select whatever option you get in order to unzip it that will depend on the software that you have downloaded or have on your computer to unzip compressed files once this is done you will need to insert an SD card of 16 gigabytes or larger in the computer you downloaded the file to in this case it was my laptop you will need to reformat the SD card to NTFS filing system and label the SD card WINPE. Once you have all these steps completed, open the folder containing the operating system files you downloaded and transfer those files to your SD card. This part they skipped in this video instructions. So remove the SD card from your computer and place it in the new Camaro Mini PC. Be sure you look at the review that I wrote to get additional instructions. We're going to try this again. Push F7 down on your keyboard and hold it down. You want to scroll down to where it says UEFI and press enter. When you're holding that F7 button down, you don't want to hold it down, just keep pushing it. Okay, while I'm trying to get Windows set up, it uh, just crashed. and turned off and now I'm trying to start it again and nothing Intel Celeron N5100 it gigahertz it says it comes with Windows 11 Pro however as you see, this is Windows 10 Pro.